Hey guys, welcome to Production Music Live. My name is Francois and in today's video we are going to take a look at this track in the style of Ben Böhmer or Anjuna Deep. And a few days ago we put out a video on our YouTube channel where we filmed Ben Böhmer explaining his Ableton Live setup when he's playing live. Kind of DJing but sort of rearranging his own music. And as part of the series we also put out this pack right here PML Ben Böhmer Melodic Deep Pack, this one. And we have a few Ableton templates inside. We have his default Ableton Live DJ set project right here and MIDI files and sample packs. And today we are looking at this Ableton project right here. That's the one you can see here. And it's a fully arranged track. We have the overview here, an intro part, an outro part, break part, build up, and two main parts. And in this group, I stacked most of the drums. And in this group, we have the instruments. And here's a few kick sounds and the sidechain channel. So let's first of all, take a look at the instruments group here. And you can see right away, we have lots of different instruments. But actually, if you take a closer look, we only play a few of them all the time. So we play our bass and our background pad and some plucks and some more plucks. And other than that, you can see a lot of elements just being splashed in here and there. And that's what kind of makes it much more interesting. That's also typical for Ben Böhmer's style. So let's first of all create a bit more space here. So I'm looping. So I'm looping this area here in front. You can always loop the selection and then you can duplicate time or command I to sort of insert time right here. All right, so let's go. Let's take a look at some of these single elements one by one. And I'm going to copy the kicks and sidechain quickly into this front area here. And I'm also picking up bass and the pad sound from here. So we can take a look at that quickly, turning this Foley thing off for now. All right, so we are playing F. F major, as you can see. Invert it. And then also A minor seventh. It's easier to hear up here. and two passing chords. That's quite typical um, for Ben Böhmer's style. And in this case, we are using Wavetable for both these elements. Actually, all these sounds are made with only Ableton stock effects. So in the effects section, there will be no third-party VST. I'm only using Serum on a bunch of tracks and Wavetable. So Serum is the only third-party plugin for those templates right here. So a lot of people can simply use it without having to like download and buy lots of VST plugins. And just for demonstration purposes, I will later show how to make that sound with Diva as well up here. Because as you know, Ben is using Diva a lot as well. Um, let's quickly copy those plug elements that are playing along in here as well to see what they're doing. So lots of information in here we don't need right now, quickly taking that off. So this kind of gives a more natural feel because these velocities move up and down right here and it's kind of sort of playing an arbitrary pattern.
combined with these other plugs here. We have a little bit of swing on this one because we are actually only playing 16th notes. And let's quickly take a look at the swing. We have the sw MPC 16 swing 58 applied here. Let's play around with the timing. Timing fully applied, full swing applied. And these are super simple sounds. That's basically, if we go into Serum right here, we have just like a, a saw wave in uh, detuned with uh, eight voices here and then just a, a plucky filter setting. And the other one. And quickly looking at the pad sound here. We have sine wave and saw wave. and three voices with the shimmer unison here. And if you look at the bass sound quickly, we can see another saw wave here layered with square to saw wave and this one in those pitchy parts. In the beginning, it always has this pitchy element. That's envelope number three controlling the pitch of the oscillator. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about right now, feel free to check out the link in the description to our Ableton beginner course, where you know you can start where you can start from scratch, basically. Um, going on with this. Okay, so going on with this one. Now let's take a look at this element here added in as well, quite typical for this style. Okay. That's another instance of Serum right here with the basic mini in one voice. That thing will take you so far already um, because that's one thing with the style of Ben Boomer. It's, it's not like sound design wise, it sounds very rich and full, but it doesn't mean it has to be complicated. It's just like nicely done and also with all those elements splashed out over the arrangement, that's what makes it interesting. And if we quickly take a look at our main melody here, I'm copying that over as well. Serum. Ben would do this one with Diva, and if we quickly copy it over to this Diva test track right here, we can take a look at how you could set that up.
So it's a pretty simple setup. We have a saw wave right here. We only play one of those oscillators. Okay, so we add in a little bit of noise with the noise oscillator here. And then we are playing 12, uh, 24 decibels filter and just making sure we find a nice sweet spot in our decay and sustain levels and times. And then play, well, a little bit of attack, but really not that much to still have that plucky feeling. Let's actually go to one of those parts where everything is playing. Okay, so Diva sounds really warm and rich and we try to capture that as good as possible with Serum and Ableton stock effects here. And I think especially in the mix it works great. Okay, let's take a look at other elements. We still have those pitchy pads here, which add really a nice vibe to all of this. Let's bring this pad down a little and play this one. Wavetable as well um, on this one. And you can see envelope free is again controlling the pitch. And you can well tweak that to taste. Everything is editable editable here. And you can if, if that's too much, you can always go back. So there we have our main elements. And now let's pick up this thing called Yawn. It's um, actually going to sort of delay that pad sound a little and just quickly swoosh up and swell up and then go back down. That's what this shape shows you. And this is what will help your track get moving. play it together. And then we have these elements down here, for example, those so-called white noise LFOs. What are these doing? Let's quickly check. What a nice sound. We have A, E, C. And we are playing Serum here. Let's quickly check that patch as well. The noise AC hum mixed just a little bit with the basic mini and a sine wave. And you can see we are getting this LFO type movement here with a trick with auto filter where we are setting the amount to all the way up. Uh, we are setting the rate to hertz and phase and shape down all the way right here. So we can mess around with the rate. Uh, 
and it's already automated to taste here. And this will give this really nice organic effect right in between. <laughs> And there you can see we're playing the seventh chord, F major seventh here. Okay, let's take a look at some other elements and bring them in here as well. What is this one? Organ. It's from the Ableton Organ, one soft instrument quickly check where we can find that one in the uh which one is it this one here electric okay that's one of my favorite sounds to build quick short sound overdriven and then a little bit of delay and longer reverb through this send reverb here 5.4 seconds down here quick pad and you see the auto filter here being set to the notch setting and if we turn that off it would be way too much and again notching out those frequencies here and then adding delay and auto panning from left to right, always side chaining it, of course. And um, yeah, then a utility here controlling our gain. So we always have that fader free later. Let's play it all together. <laughs> Okay, let's quickly take a look at some of our drum elements. We have a few loops from our Ben Boomer pack here. If we go to sample pack, we can open up loops and we have hat loops, for example. Top loops, perk loops, top loops. Which one is this one? Let's quickly check 14. So we're playing this one. They sound pretty organic. That's uh, that's nice about it. And we have 008. This one is playing here. So let's quickly copy that in front. And then we have a bunch of other things. Let's quickly copy this stuff white noise that's just a recorded white noise here where and we are filtering it down and shaker on kick it's playing every second kick every fourth is it even playing the kick yet? Yeah. Now you see, we are going to great lengths to make these samples sound very organic. So we have that thing here. Mm. 
just using this back part from our Deep Premium Volume 2 perk snap here, adding erosion, adding overdrive, chorus, and EQ. And what else? Let's pick up these wood groups where we have see a little bit of swing applied here as well and there and we have that one in the stereo spectrum it's basically the same setup but we have an attack here of 14 milliseconds And then tambourine and oh yeah that one's important very important this one for our groove here Okay, copying these two elements here, clap hat. It's like a hi-hat or a ride almost in the clap position. Trying to add a very natural feel on top there. And then we have this shaker on kick thing here. That's a close hi-hat sample with erosion and overdrive and a vocoder on top to make it very white noisish. These really make a difference here. They will take your track from sounding like a clubhouse track into this more deep, melodic, um, organic sounding style. Okay, right. Or shakers type thing made with a closed hi hat sample. Okay, and we have a few more shakers up here. Um, they're grouped. Those were several recorded shakers. And let's quickly put them in here. Okay, and we have a few more claps to add now. Let's pick them up right here. Um, this clap. Or it's the PML Boomer clap 007. And let's add in this top loop here. See, I also put a little bit of noise on top of this one. Maybe you even prefer it that way without the noise, but I kind of thought it fits nicely in here. just helping us make the clap cut through a bit more. Also a little early, so it kind of 
uh, adds a bit of dynamic. So it kind of adds a bit of dynamic to the clap position. We are a little early and a little late with another one. <laughs> And then if you've seen some of my videos, you've probably seen this one here a lot. I tend to put this one in for these types of kicks. It's a snap kind of thing or zap. It's right in front of the kick position. And that's what it does. Kind of like an artifact, but it helps your kick feel more snappy. Okay, so we took a look at a bunch of drum elements right here. We took a look at a bunch of instrument elements. And you can also let me know in the comments if you want a full course on a track or Ableton template like this, where we like sort of build it from scratch. But as you can see, we have lots of things to build here, lots of tracks to cover, even if we are only playing like 10 of these instruments more or less or even like what is that nine at the same time and then the other ones are just like distributed over the arrangement to make your sound stay interesting like because we are playing pretty much the same chord progression for six minutes or five minutes or some or 5 30 or something so how do you keep it interesting how do you keep the vibe going without i should never have the feeling well, I think I already heard these 16 or 32 bars. There should always be something new being introduced. And, and that's how these things can really help us. Also, such a swell down here. As you can see, we have a fully editable Ableton project file here. We try to make all of these sounds with synthesizers where you can edit the preset or the settings where you can map and, I don't know, like remodulate everything according to your needs. You can put in your own chord progressions or pick up some of those MIDI files here and drag them in here to turn it into a new song. Um, and the way I tend to use Ableton files or projects, I made quite a few already, and I tend to build a new track, and then I go into Ableton templates. I'm like, yeah, I think I want to use the bass from that Cloud 94 thing today. And I just open up the ALS file here in the browser, and then I'm just uh, checking okay so here's my kick and bongo and stuff and so here's my wavetable bass and there's the instrument group I think I want to use this bass today so I just hold it and drag it over and you can drag a bass from a totally different Ableton project right into right into this project right here without even opening that one so that's kind of useful in my opinion and that's how I sort of skip a little bit of production work sometimes and just like hey, I want the plug from this one, I want the pad from this one, and I want to use the bass from this one here. And you can just click them together and you already have something going. You just need to, of course, play your melodies and, and pads and bass notes, and then you can get started with your track right away. Okay, let's quickly take a look at a break, lastly here. <laughs>
So what happened? We are basically um, breaking the pattern here. We're still playing the same chord progression, but we are stopping the main melody for a couple of bars until we reintroduce it here with this plug and just create a little different vibe right here by you know playing those long one bar long notes and and adding this dreamy feel here and really take trying to take a lot of the other things off for that moment and just playing a few layers of this with uh This is, by the way, from the Ableton Analog Synth, a Pan Pipes lead preset. Nice one. And here's a sampled piano instrument just in Ableton simpler devices. adding a little bit of this piano vibe below. And then in the build-up part, we are introducing the plugs again and we are combining them with um, another plug pattern here. And maybe you noticed how it's ducking a little um, because this one is actually sidechained to the sidechain, but it's also sidechained to the main plug. So whenever that one is playing here, So whenever the other one is playing, we are docking this one because they overlap a little bit. Um, and this one at times sounds like the delay of the other one. So we don't want them to mess too much with one another. And then, yeah, and then we are building it up. We are bringing the filter up on this pad right here to open up really wide. And then we are falling back into our drop. <laughs> And now you can also see something that will make your track sound more interesting. We have this these filter sweeps here and you can see they are always like moving one position more to the front. So here they're in the last bar of this four bar loop here in the third last bar, here in the second one and here in the first one. <laughs> Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial walkthrough session right here. Feel free to visit us on productionmusiclive.com, our website supporting this channel and giving us the ability to put out content like this and also videos like the one we did with Ben together. And subscribe to our channel, leave a comment and a like. And also feel free to check the link in the description where we have the links for this Ben Boomer type sound pack right here. We also have a link to the other one, Sunset Vibes. It's called Sunset Vibes Pack, also with four tracks in this Anjuna style. So overall, we have four here and another five Ableton templates in this one, fully editable, only using Ableton Live and third party plugin Serum. So it's kind of like nine Ableton templates, fully editable. It's like almost an album, but fully editable, only using Ableton Live and Serum. And you can like use that as a sound pack for inspiration if you want to set up tracks in this style or in the Anjuna style or the melodic deep style. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this session. We are going to fully play the track now 
and I hope to see you next time.